I'm continuing to work on my InDesign newsletter and it's time to drop in some images. To drop in images, if I don't have the images yet, what I will usually do is choose Rectangle Frame to put in a placeholder. And what I'm going to do in this tutorial is I'm not only going to set up placeholders to put in images, I'm also going to set up something called text wrap because right now if I just put an image into here it's going to overlay the type. Um, whatever I set as a text wrap, if it's an image it has to be above the type but on the same layer so I can't put this all on a different layer. Everything has got to be on the same layer and that's the only way I can do text wrap. So I'm going to decide to put in one more image, let's say here. Okay, so image placeholders, I need to put images into those. So to do that, I'm going to select the image, go to File menu, and choose place. Or I can type Command D or Control D. Command D on a Mac, Control D on a Windows machine. Okay, so first image I'm putting in there. When I put an image in, that's not the whole image. I really want it to fill the space better. I will often right-click it, choose Fitting and Fill Frame Proportionally. I'm going to do the same thing with this. File menu, place. And drop that in. And again, if I don't think it's uh, positioned in the frame the way I want, I can do fitting and fill frame proportionally. I can also use this little magical donut thing. It looks like a little focus um, if you've ever looked into a viewfinder for a camera for traditional SLR or digital SLR, you'll see that little donut in there. You can grab that and kind of just move things around in the frame. You can't move it too far out of the frame or you get like that kind of yucky going on. But uh, you can always slide things around until your image is positioned the way you want. So now I have to set my text wrap. Because I have two different images, again, to wrap the text, like, because right now, hey, you know, the text is underneath there. So to do that, I close my character styles and paragraph styles for now, and go back to Window menu and choose Text Wrap, which will open up the Text Wrap panel. In Text Wrap, I have a bunch of choices. My first choice is no Text Wrap at all. The second choice is what I want, wrap around the bounding box. So I'm going to select that. I know you're saying, wait, nothing really happened. The text is actually wrapped around the bounding box. But the text is also crashing into the photo. We can't have that. So I'm going to set separate parameters. I don't really need to set any for right and left for this because I got margin on one side, column guide on the other side. So I only re really need to do top and bottom. So top offset and bottom offset. So I'm going to make sure that make all settings the same. This little chain link icon in the center of this is deselected. It'll have a little slash through it once I do that. That way it won't make all settings the same when I do this. So I'm going to, again, visually whatever looks good. so that the type is not crashing into my text. If it means I readjust the photo slightly, so be it. I'm going to do the same thing for this image. i got to set a text wrap. I'm going to choose the same wrap around bounding box that I chose before. on this one because it is lined up with the right margin guide and the bottom margin guide. I only really need to set a little space here between where the text is and where the image is. So only top. And again, I will set whatever looks 
best. Because this is not a real newsletter, I can take that out of there. and stick it somewhere else. Reopen paragraph styles. Okay. So, uh, placing images and setting up text wrap. Uh, incidentally, if I bump everything and I still don't like the text wrap in there, I can always go back in and change it. 